has been on Ellen. He's got his own show, and he's <laughs> only eight years old. Welcome back to Windy City Live, the host of the Show About Science podcast, Nate Budkiss. <laughs> hey, Nate. Hi, Nate. Hey. Give me a high five. Hi, Nate. Give me a high five. What's going on? Okay, so in front of me, I have a lemon battery, and I'll get back to that in a second. Okay. Okay. Wait, are you going to tell us a little bit about your podcast before you get into your experiment? Uh, oh. Sure. So I host a podcast called The Show About Science. Yes. Yeah, you've been doing this and for three years now. Turn off the monitors. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're okay. You're okay. He doesn't want to get distracted looking at himself. He said, turn off the monitors. <laughs> okay, yeah, just no, don't just look at the monitors. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so you've been doing the podcast how long? I've been doing it for about three years now. Okay. Wow. Okay. And what have you learned? And a lot. <laughs> and you just finished your 60th episode on organic farming? Yes. And, oh, Bird's Garden was awesome. Like, it was? Like, Little Fork Farm was great. Uh -huh. I got to feed the goats weeds I pulled. Oh, cool. Yeah. And what, you're going into what, third grade? Yes, third grade. Are you the smartest kid in school? Definitely in third grade. Oh, not going to answer. You're very smart. Very smart. Ryan, okay, you tell offended us, him. Tell us about your uh, your science project that you're going to show us today. Okay, so this is the lemon battery, and this is oh wait, I got to get the cell set up. Okay. So I used copper wire for this experiment, but yes. a penny, a regular penny can work too. Okay. okay. If well, you don't have the copper wire, use a yes. penny. Okay. Yep. And then you'd also, for one cell of a lemon battery, need something zinc, which is often found in nails. Okay. okay. And so I'll just poke that in. Okay. All right. And then you also need, need something that connects all of the lemons together, which are best used as alligator, alligator clips. Okay, oh, so you're going to generate some electricity is what you're going to do. Uh, yes. Okay. And so these alligator clips always mm -hmm. attach to the copper first. Got it. Oh, okay. And yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you ever zapped yourself? No, not yet. Okay, good. <laughs> well, let's not do that today. Okay. Okay, so, what's the next step? Okay, so... Then you have to clip everything, all of the lemons together and find something to power. Okay. In my case, I have an LED. Oh, okay. and it's not lighting up. Let's see why. Okay, how many lemons do you need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? nine if I lemons. want to do this at home? Okay, nine lemons. Okay, you, do you so have to have nine lemons? Let me just see if, like, if this powers it. Right, he does not like yes, it. Yes, it does. Okay. <gasps> oh, wait. Look at there. Can you see it, Can you turn that? Good. Go. And here is the LED that all of these lemons are working together to power. And you connected them all through the alligator clips. Yes. Right? Because this one is going to this one. This one. Wow. And, there's, and so it takes nine lemons to power one LED. How much each power do you think a thousand lemons gives? Hmm, a I don't know. A thousand lemons? Okay, well, if it takes nine to power one, I would say, like, maybe nine hundred, nine thousand? No, wait, let me do this now. Okay, so what? how much power do you think, though? So? Could it power a car like that? Oh, I think oh. it may be one string of Christmas lights. That much power. A oh, and a double A battery? A double A battery, yes. A thousand lemons would be equivalent to a double A battery? Yes. Wow. And so, lemon batteries probably aren't like the best form of batteries. Right. I stick to like these. Probably stick to these. <laughs> yeah, but this is, since the kids are at home right now, this would be a really cool experiment to yeah, do with the kids, really right? Yeah, it's a really cool experiment. Like, you connect all these circuit wires, teach them a few valuable science lessons, and, uh, Power, power an LED and have some, have a good time. All right, yeah. Nate Butkus, everybody. <laughs> and then I'm thinking maybe you can squeeze some of this lemon juice and make some lemonade, or is that too dangerous? Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> well, while he tries, thank you so much for being here. For more on Nate and his podcast, head to WindyCityLive.com. It's working. Oh, it's okay, working. It's working. <laughs> Coming up. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.